Believe it or not, we're going to start this course right off with a challenge. We're going to take a closer look at the game you're going to make in the first five sections of this course. I'll show you how the game is supposed to work, and then I'll challenge you to pause the video and make a to-do list for the high-level things we need to accomplish to make this app. This is important because it builds a good programming practice of figuring out what you want to do before how you do it. Let's get started. Here's what the bullseye game will look like when you're finished. The way the game works is it tells you to try to put the bullseye, which is this slider here, as close to this random value as you can. It's given us a random number of 92. So I'm gonna to try to drag this to where I think 92 would be on this slider. Maybe it's about here. And then I tap the hit me button. And now it gives me a score. Now the closer I move the slider to what the actual 92 value is, the better my score is. Now I was really close. I was only three off, so it gave me a nice high score there. And after you click OK, it resets to another random value. You can kind of keep going and get as high a score as you can. Now you can also click this reset button to reset the game back to score zero and reset the number of rounds. Now this game probably won't make you an instant millionaire on the App Store, but hey, even future millionaires have to start somewhere. All right, now that you've seen what the game should look like and what the gameplay rules are, it's time for your challenge. Your challenge is to pause this video and make a list of all the things you think you need to do to build this game. For example, you might write down that you have to put a hit me button in the app, and when you tap it, it should show an alert on the screen. Your challenge is to think of other things the app might need to do and write those down. It doesn't matter if you don't actually know how to do those things yet. The important thing is to understand the requirements of your app and what it's supposed to do. So give this a best shot and you might find it useful to rewind the video a bit to look at the demo of Bullseye again. And don't worry if you draw a blank or if you're having trouble, this is gonna get easier and easier as you go through this course. All right, that's it. Now pause the video and good luck. This is what I came up with. I simply took the gameplay description and broke it down into small bite-sized chunks. First, we need to add a hit me button to the screen. We need to show a pop-up when the user taps that button. We need to put some game information on the screen, like what the current score is or what the round is. We need to put a slider on the screen that goes from 1 to 100. We need to figure out the current value of the slider when the user hits the hit me button. We need to generate a random number to represent the target of what the user is supposed to select. We need to calculate the score, which is the difference between the actual value of the slider and what the user selected. We need to add a start over button to the screen, and if you tap it, it should reset the game. Finally, we need to put the app in landscape orientation, and of course, we need to make it look pretty. The reason why I gave you this challenge is because when I start working on an app, I do this exact same thing. I write a list of all the different functionality and features that my app requires, and that becomes my programming to-do list. Sometimes you get this great idea for an app, but then it seems so overwhelming and you don't know how to get started. There's so much to do, so where do you begin? By cutting this big project into small step-by-step -step pieces, it makes the whole thing seem less daunting. You just pick up a task and work at them one thing at a time. And that's exactly what we'll do in the rest of these five sections as we build up Bullseye. 